In today's video, you will learn how to create a typing animation in After Effects. Also, I will explain how to play with keyframes to get realistic typing feel. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so first of all, let's create a new composition, give it a name, and click OK. After that, I am going to select the text tool and write our text, then align it to the center. Then in the Effects and Presets panel, search for an effect called CC Ball Action. Simply apply it to this text layer, then go to the settings. First, let's change grid spacing to 1, then change ball size to around 50. So you will get this look. After that, I am adding another effect called Glow, so our text is glowing and looks beautiful. Then I'm adding another effect called Bevel Alpha. After applying it, I'm going to change edge thickness to 7, and then I change light intensity to around 200. So you can see how it affects our whole text look. Also, we can rotate its light angle as per our need. And now I'm going to add our special effect, which is Blinking Cursor Typewriter. Simply apply this effect on this text layer, and you can see after applying, we get four different effects or options of this effect. So, if I play the preview, you can see the animation has automatically animated our text. Now let's see the options. If I uncheck this checkbox, we can turn off this cursor. Then, below this, you can see the cursor shape option, so we can change the shape of this cursor into different shapes, and it will give a different feel to our animation. Below it, you can see the cursor blink speed, so you can control the blinking speed from here. Also, if you want to change the font, you can do that too, and the rest of the effects stay the same. Now, here's the important part. By default, it generates linear keyframes which is okay, but if you want to make it realistic typing, you have to play with the keyframes. Let me show you how. Scrub the timeline to where the first word is completed, then add a keyframe here. Then select all the keyframes, and while holding Alt on the keyboard, select the last keyframe and drag it forward a bit. This way, the animation speed slows down. Then select the middle keyframe and press F9 to make it a Bezier keyframe. Then, go to the graph editor and change the speed graph like this. So when you reach the middle, the animation stops, and then it starts writing again. So it will look like realistic typing effects. And that's how you can create a realistic typing animation in After Effects. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.